Tide, the wash day miracle that gets clothes cleaner than any soap of any kind, brings you that zany, lovable, clown of clowns, Red Skelton. T-I-D-E, Tide presents Red Skelton. Thank you very much and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start off tonight, I would like to thank the Esquire magazine for the article about me in the November issue called... Uh, uh, the Red Menace, that's Esquire. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. Oh, I gotta explain why my hair looks like this, too. I'm in a picture now called The Clown, and I can't get a haircut until the picture's over, you <laughs> see? Of course, I, uh, it's rather embarrassing. I walk up the street and barbers say, hey, psst, give you an estimate. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about uh, uh, this uh, magazine thing, there was one thing in there where it talked about success. Well, uh, you know, you'd be surprised the amount of people that almost get to success, but they never quite get to. Now, you take my brother, for instance. I wish you would take him. <laughs> you take my brother, for instance. Now, he started out, he tried a one up, two up, three up, four up, five up, six up, and then he quit. <clears throat> See, one more would have been seven up. <laughs> you know the duck stories I've been telling? I mean, seagull stories. I got a duck story tonight. See? These two ducks are flying to Florida for the winter. <laughs> I, I know what's coming, you see. <laughs> Anyhow, they're, they're flying to uh, Florida for the winter, and one of them says, um, <clears throat> Herman. The other one says, yeah, Pete. <laughs> Just look down in that pond there. There's a pretty little bird. What do you say? We go down and get acquainted. The other one says, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. <laughs> we'll go down just for kicks, huh? <laughs> so they scoop down, and just as they hit the water, <laughs> A guy blasts away with a shotgun and he says, come on, get out of here. Half their feathers are gone. One turn to the other and he says, Herman, wouldn't it just be our luck to run into one with a jealous husband? <laughs> Skelton's Film Scrapbook presents San Fernando Red in Whistle Stop. Yes, sir. Thank you and drop dead, will you? Oh, here, boy, here. Have a cigar, will you? Have a well, cigar. Thank you very much. You're a very kind gentleman. Well, thank you. Here, have another one for after lunch. Go ahead. Well, say, these are mighty, mighty good cigars. Yeah, I got them from a reliable place, I did, you know. Say, uh, San Fernando, have you got another that I can give to the senator? Oh, I'm fresh out. Well, I'll just take these. Now, where's the other opponent? That's what I want to see. All right, I'll bring him out, but I want to tell you yes. that your opponent is scheduled to speak first. That's all right with me, boy. Bring him out. Let's hear him. Let's hear him. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you now the Honorable Phineas Cucamonga. Yeah. Now, if you will just have faith in me, you know where I come from. <laughs> in office, and we'll have four years more of prosperity. <laughs> I am just an average man like the rest of you citizens. I have a wife. <laughs> I have three sons in uniform. <laughs> and if the citizens of this state will do their duty, I will rise to a higher position. <laughs> and now, my friends, we're going to hear from my opponent, San Fernando Red, that big windbag. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, you're not sorry because I called you big windbag? Oh, certainly not. No, no. this guy talks so much oh, he's not... Oh, re one reason I called you big windbag. You're going to get that line in there, ain't you? Yeah, <laughs> Only one reason why I called you a wheel, big windbag. Yes. A wheel wind? Yes. <laughs> oh, what the matter? It, it's the truth, San Fernando. Yeah, that's right. This guy talks so much, his mouth has been opened so much, they stuffed it like a ballot box. You heard what this man just said, that I was a grafter, a tax dodger, a five percenter. I'm very happy to see that he's going to keep this campaign on a high level. I was born and raised here. Not exactly raised. I was lucky the uh, rope broke. 
A lot of you folks may have known me when I was a boy around here. I did. Thank you, Warden. <laughs> I'm back now to get your votes. I'm not just asking you for your votes. I'm ready to buy them. <laughs> you put me into the White House? White House. <laughs> Excuse yourself. You put me in the White House, and the first thing I'm going to do is redo the Blair House. <laughs> Blair House. <laughs> this is the only guy that yelled for Chloe and got an answer. <laughs> you get me in the White House by November, and I'll have you in bread lines by January the 1st. Yes, sir. A lot of you may wonder, where do we get our money for these things? I've seen friendlier faces at the Nuremberg trial. Yeah. <laughs> What about that racetrack deal? Go on, get him. I'll tell you about this racetrack deal. I was, mm, I was down there, mm, I was. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, mm, the way it was. Mm. <laughs> I hope that's satisfactory to you. Here you are, sir, is your water. There you are, son. <laughs> Now, I don't think there's any more in there. Yes, I, I believe there is, sir. Yes. No, there's not. I think there is. Well, I don't think there is. Well, I believe you'll find there is. <laughs> yes, I think you're right, son. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Ooh, that feels good. Can I get you some more water, sir? No more water. I'm out of water jokes. <laughs> About that racetrack. What's that? About that racetrack. Why aren't you stepping on them laps? <laughs> What, that racetrack? I'm gonna punch you in the nose, boy. I don't have to take that from anybody. I'm a citizen. Ain't you gonna come up here and follow me in? You'd better yeah. than finish this thing. <laughs> Nobody's gonna walk over him. Hey, San Fernando Red, nobody walks over San Fernando Red, and nobody walks over San Fernando Red. My friend. Tell the door, man. Elton's Film Scrapbook presents Lem Cadiddlehopper in The Goonie Gardener. Do, 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 do. Well, here I am, working like a dog. I'm telling you, that devil grass is really something. Real devils this year. Look at it. <laughs> when I mowed that lawn, I never heard such language in all my life. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe I can get it out of here some way. Well, Homer, looks like you need another hair trim before the price goes up. There you are. You stay right here. we will fix you up nice now. Howdy, oh, Don't do that. I almost cut the head off of that thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Good heavens. What have you been doing? Helen Clam, lover boy. Well, Daisy June, lover girl. Here are the bolts I brought you. Yep. Now, what kind of a moron are you, anyhow? I distinctly asked for 100 watt bulbs. <laughs> well, we'll plant those and raise our own things here. <laughs> Where are we at now? <laughs> Where's my thing? Oh, here it is. I gotta spray my uh, chrysanthemums, you know. Clam, those aren't chrysanthemums, they're roses. They are chrysanthemums. Clam, they're roses. They're chrysanthemums. I know chrysanthemums when I see them. All right, if you're so sure they're... Come over on cloud nine, it's great. <laughs> you stop that. Clam, if those are chrysanthemums, how do you spell it? You know, those are the most beautiful roses I've ever seen. <laughs> really beautiful. Well, mm. wait a minute, I gotta get something. How do you do, sir? Are you Clem Cadiddlehopper? Well, that's the name I'm registered at the dog show with, yeah. <laughs> well, what can I do you for? Well, Mr. Cadiddlehopper, I came here to make you a rich man. I'm going to give you a chance to get richer than you ever were in your life. Well, now, wait a minute. You think you're going to sell me the Brooklyn Bridge? Don't try, because I already own it. No. Client, <laughs> don't listen to him. He looks like a fast talker. Oh, no, he's just one of them city fellers. Here what? I am, sir. What is that? This is a money tree, it grows dollars. Look at those dollars growing on that tree. Has Washington heard about this yet? 
Now look, sir, I'm going to give you a chance to make a lot of money. I'm going to sell you this tree here for ten bucks. Oh, thing you do, huh? Well, I want to tell you something. Those dollars aren't growing on that tree. They most are, that is remarkable. Look at that. They grow their own rubber bands, too. I'm glad you noticed that. Now, I'm going to tell you something. As you look at it, you see four dollars on there. Yeah. Now, there's four dollars already growing. There may be twenty dollars in the morning. Now, for the small sum of ten dollars, my friend, you can buy this tree on easy payments. That's the deal. Yep. Here you are. Here's four dollars on the account. Yeah. Right here. And, and here. You can grow your monthly payment yourself. <laughs> <laughs> City boys, those oh. city boys. <laughs> you know, I lied to him about that Brooklyn Bridge. I don't own it. <laughs> I traded it for the big mo. Oh, yeah. oh, well, I'll have to get to work here. Oh, look, there's a butterfly. It's got real butter. <laughs> well, I've never seen butter so low. That's all. Get lost. Physical impossibility. <laughs> oh, well, where's my... Well, back to work now, back to work. Just get back to work. Oh, Clem, look at that filthy glove. Let me have it so I can wash it. What, wash it? What fur? What fur? It's just filthy dirty. I've got to wash this glove. Why? Why? Because, because this is the commercial. Oh! Oh! Salam, oh. salam. Well, you know why? You can't wash it in just water like that. You've got to have a cleaning, something with a cleaning power to it. Like what? Oh, she better know. I, that's all I got to say. <laughs> Here, like Tide. See, that's the wash day oh, miracle. That's yeah. the wash day miracle. That gets clothes cleaner than any soap, and it's kind to your hands, too. And it whitens without bleak, except for stubborn, oh, uh, uh, stubborn stains. I think that's it. We'll come back later and do this over again. <laughs> Oh, now, I'll show you, I'll show you how wonderful this really is. See, you pour just a little of the Tide in there. Where's my glove? Let me right show there. you how that. You sprinkle a little Tide over there, and I'll show you a miracle that you've never seen before. Scotland's film scrapbook presents John Q. American in Secret Ballot. We'll take a shortcut through the park here. It'll be quicker to go to the polling. All right. John, dear, why don't you tell me who you're going to vote for? It would save me an awful lot of trouble. No, I am casting my secret ballot. I'm not telling anyone because I am John Q. American. <laughs> I hope Petrillo's happy. <laughs> Look, dear, you, you gotta hurry. Uh, oh, I can't vote, John. I forgot my uh, sample ballot. Oh, they're gonna give samples out? Oh, John, dear, what's wrong with you? I think you're worrying too much about politics lately. Well, I just can't make up my mind who to vote for, is all. Over the last three months, all I've heard is politics, politics, politics. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what you do. You sit right down on this bench and uh, rest. What for? And try not to think of politics. I'll run home and get my ballot, and I'll oh. be right back. Oh, all right. <laughs> Figuring out who to vote for is worse than picking a horse. <laughs> Look 
I will lay down and get some sleep. Oh, boy. Fellow citizens, you all know who I am. I represent the Demo-Publican Party. Now, you vote for my candidate, and I can assure you of health, happiness, and prosperity. It's good to see some candidate with his hands in his own pockets, isn't it? I promise you a chicken in every pot. And as a special introductory offer, a stove to go with it. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. My friends, as a last word before you enter that secret polling booth, I want to tell you about my party, the Republicans. We stand for honesty. And I can truthfully say to you, without the slightest doubt, that the days will be brighter and the nights darker. <laughs> we will arm to the teeth and make America safe. Say, say, blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I'm getting more confused for the minute. I see if I can find out who to vote for here. People, put your X on the ballot right next to my candidate name. Vote the straight wet ticket. Because if you don't, that old 18th Amendment will be staring you in the face again. <laughs> and if my candidate wins, I guarantee you nothing but four straight years of wet. This is a secret ballot. <laughs> a very secret ballot, and nobody needs to know. Blah, 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 blah. That last boy copped an extra close-up, I see. <laughs> I like Joe or L. Mujik! That means presence! There is only one course to follow, and that is the dialectics. There is only one party, the repulsive party. <laughs> and I tell you one thing, we don't need nobody, and the only way to get elected is the right way, with good, dishonest votes. <laughs> down with everything, down with anything, down with us. <laughs> Ayuchnim, ayuchnim, yascha vradja, ayuchnim. What does that mean? It means it don't count if the dice don't hit the wall. <laughs> hey, you don't happen to have a light, do you? Yes, my friend, I could give you a light. I'll be very glad to give you one. I got here a match someplace, I'll give you a light. In my country, we are very courteous. You want a light? It's all downtown. <laughs> that is the trouble. These are capitalistic matches. <laughs> now I will give you a light. <laughs> there you are. Take a light, my friend. <laughs> Nothing to worry. There, you got a light. Now let me tell you about the secret ballot. The secret ballot is a nothing. Let there be only one commissary. Commissar. <laughs> you eat where you want, I'll eat where I want. <laughs> ah, la, la, <laughs> yep. Now I'm all confused again. I sat up night after night trying to figure out who to vote for, and now I'm all confused again. Oh, good heaven. wonder what happened to my wife. Yeah, here she comes. Wake her up back there, will you? <laughs> yeah. 
Come on. I've got to get to the polls. Oh, but darling, we better hurry or we won't be able to vote. Yes, I know. How do you do? Sign here, please. The balloting booths are now open. Thank you. took you a long time. I wanted to be sure it was my name I was writing. <laughs> because I am John Q. American. Da, 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 da. If we ever get music on this show, he's the first guy to go. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to figure this out, and it takes me all night. Let me see now. Ballot, I'm going to have a secret ballot. <laughs> What'd you do? Give me a nail? <laughs> I got this from the tailor. That old so-and-so upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I guess that'll be good enough for now, anyhow. Ah, people out there. Are you taking any... <laughs> Now, you go to the booth next door. There's a guy over there who needs a light. <laughs> I will not. I am honest John Q. Ta -ta -da!
go and vote. Go and vote? You mean I haven't voted yet? Of course not. I've been so busy. We better hurry. Oh, I'm just like a lot of other people. So busy hating all the candidates, I forgot to register. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, our little visit's up for this evening. Next Tuesday, as you all know, is election day. And by next Sunday, if I'm allowed back into your living room, you will have elected a new president of our United States. I'm not a politician. I don't care who you vote for, but protect our great American heritage and vote next Tuesday. Good night now. The Red Skelton Show has been brought to you by Procter & Gamble's Tide. And remember, it's smart to get tied in the giant economy size. More convenient, and it saves you money. Produced by Red Skelton. Directed by Martin Rackett.